in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Christ is risen. Alleluia. And he has overcome death. It's Easter Daily Bread Devotions with Father Eustace Yame, a selection of Don Bosco. Stay tuned. It is Easter Thursday of the 13th of April 2023, fifth day of Easter octave and participating in the proclamation of the word of God for today are the following daily bread members. Vivian Tumatita Cho from Yaounde, Cameroon, celebrating her birthday today, takes for us the first reading. Jacqueline Nkada Kiyayo from Don Bosco, Upper Hill, Nairobi, Kenya, celebrating her birthday today, takes for us the responsorial psalm. And proclaiming the gospel is Father Collins Mulunda from Bungoma Diocese in Kenya. Let us pray. O oh God, who have united the many nations in confessing your name, grant that those reborn in the font of baptism may be one in the faith of their hearts and the homage of their deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. First reading. You killed the author of life, whom God raised from the dead. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Acts 3, 11 to 26. In those days, while the lame man who had been cured clung to Peter and John, all the people ran together to them in the portico called Solomon's, astounded. And when Peter saw it, he addressed the people. Men of Israel, why do you wonder at this? Or why do you stare at us? as though by our own power or piety we had made him walk? The God of Abraham and of Isaac and of Jacob, the God of our fathers, glorified his servant Jesus, whom you delivered up and denied in the presence of Pilate, when he had decided to release him. But you denied the Holy and Righteous One and asked for the murderer to be granted to you and kill the author of life whom God raised from the dead. To this we are witnesses and his name by faith in his name has made this man strong whom you see and know and the faith which is through Jesus has given the man this perfect health in the presence of you all. And now, brethren, I know that you acted in ignorance, as did also your rulers. But what God foretold by the mouth of all the prophets, that his Christ should suffer, he thus fulfilled. Repent, therefore, turn again, that your sins may be blotted out, that times of refreshing may come from the presence of the Lord, and that he may send the Christ appointed for you, Jesus, whom heaven must receive unto the time for establishing all that God spoke by the mouth of his holy prophets from of old. Moses said, The Lord God will raise up for you a prophet from your brethren, as he raised me up. You shall listen to him in whatever he tells you, and it shall be that every soul that does not listen to that prophet shall be destroyed from the people. 
and all the prophets who have spoken from Samuel and those who came afterwards also proclaim these days. You are the sons of the prophets and of the covenants which God gave to your fathers, saying to Abraham, And in your posterity shall all the families of the earth be blessed. God, having raised up his servants, sent him to you first to bless you in turning every one of you from your wickedness. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. It's taken from Psalm chapter 8 verses 2a, b and 5 and 6 to 7a, 7b to 9. Response is taken from Psalms 8 verses 2a, b. And the response is, O Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name through all the earth. O Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name through all the earth. O Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name through all the earth. What is man that you should keep him in mind? The son of man that you care for him? O Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name through all the earth. Yet you have made him little lower than angels. With glory and honor you crowned him, and gave him power over the works of your hands. O Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name through all the earth. You put all things under his feet, all of them, sheep and oxen, yes, even the cattle of the fields, birds of the air, and the fish of the sea, that make their way through the waters. O Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name through all the earth. Gospel Acclamation Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Chapter 24, verses 35 to 48. At that time... The two disciples told what had happened on the road to a mouse and how Jesus was known to them in the breaking of the bread. As they were saying this, Jesus himself stood among them and said to them, Peace to you. But they were startled and frightened and supposed that they saw a spirit. And he said to them, Why are you troubled? And why do questionings rise in your hearts? See my hands and my feet, that it is I myself. Handle me and see, for a spirit has not flesh and bones as you see that I have. And when he had said this, he showed them his hands and his feet, and while they were still disbelieved for joy and wondered, he said to them, Have you anything here to eat? They, give, they gave him a piece of broiled fish, and he took it and ate before them. Then he said to them, These are my words which I spoke to you while I was still with you, that everything written about me in the law of Moses and the prophets and the Psalms must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understand the six scriptures and said to them, Thus it is written, that the Christ should suffer and on the third day rise from the dead, and that repentance and forgiveness of sins should be preached in his name to all nations, beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Look at how men and women of the rest 
resurrection are supposed to conduct themselves. Peter and John had done something. After doing something, they did not get stuck to that activity, to that miracle. No, they move forward. That is how a man and a woman of the resurrection is supposed to be. A man and a woman of the resurrection is supposed to be somebody who doesn't get hooked up to the past achievements. These two, Peter and John, made the people understand that what they were seeing was not their own doing. It was God who had done that. You know, sometimes God may use us in a mighty way. Sometimes God may use us to transform other people. Sometimes God may use us, even allow us to perform miracles of healing other people. And somehow we get stuck there. We want our name to be glorified, not our God. We, as signposts, want to make people think that they haven't arrived. My brother, they haven't arrived. You are just a signpost being used to direct people to Christ. My sister, understand that the gift you have been given should not make people get stuck at you. They should move forward. You should use every opportunity, every experience God has given you to direct others to Christ. That is the way forward in our own lives as we continue worshiping our God and looking for ways to glorify him. Peter and John says, you people don't even get astounded. Why are you shocked at this as though we did it ourselves? We didn't do it. It is Jesus' name we use. If we use Jesus' name, then we don't have a power of our own. It is the power of God at work. And that's how we are supposed to conduct ourselves. Jesus in the gospel passage of today underscores three things. The reality of the resurrection the necessity of the cross and the urgency of the task of preaching the good news to all nations. About the reality of the resurrection after the two disciples from Emmaus come back and start reporting things and Jesus appeared in their midst. We see him saying, look at me, eat. Touch me. I'm not a phantom or a ghost. I am really Jesus. I have reason. So do not think that Christians are fantasizers. Do not think that believers are hallucinators. No, we are not hallucinators. We are not fantasizers. We are believing in a God who is truly alive. The one who eats with us. The one who mingles with us every day we celebrate the Eucharist. He's with us. He's concretely with us. The second thing he emphasizes is the necessity of the cross. It is written that the Messiah would suffer and rise from the dead. He would suffer and you would suffer as well. If you are the follower of the Messiah, you are not exempted from suffering. You will go through pain. You will go through anything and everything that every human being goes through. But there is something more. Your life never ends here. There is joy at the end of the tunnel. There There is light at the end of the tunnel and you have every reason to rejoice even in the midst of the cross, even in the midst of suffering. And the third thing that we learn in today's gospel is the urgency of preaching the good news. Jesus says repentance must be preached in the Messiah's name to all nations. And preaching repentance starts by explaining to people that our God is real. And if he is real, he died on the cross for us for a purpose. That we might change. We might get transformed. And we are going to preach that repentance in our own lives. 
We ourselves are going to change our ways because it is only through that that people are going to know that we are men and women of the resurrection. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Blessed Easter Thursday to you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.